So, the games are coming thick and fast, and this week we are in the third round of the newly named Carabao Cup. Jesus fucking Christ, where do they make these names up from? Anyway, we've got Doncaster Rovers of League One. Um, they lost at the weekend. In fact, they've lost quite a lot this season. They've only won one of their last eight league games, and they've only scored one goal in their last five league games. So I'm not expecting us to lose to them. I'm expecting us to fully go out there and teach them a lesson. Um, this will be their cup final. They're going to they're gonna bring as many fans as they can. They're going to be up for it. They're going to play their best team. And I fully expect Arsene Wenger to mix it up and play as many of the youngsters as he possibly can. Um, there we go. You know, it is what it is. It's the third round of the League Cup. Um, I rate the League Cup. I know a hell of a lot of people mug this competition off. But it's a trophy, and if you're in it, try and blimmin' win it. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go into my 1-11. to This is what I would pick, because I'm done with trying to predict what Arsene Wenger's going to pick. So I'm going with David Ospina in goal. No need to put uh, Peter Cech in for this one. Absolutely pointless, and David Ospina is more than capable of performing against a League One side. Or at least I hope he is. Especially after his exploits the other night, running out against Cologne and getting chipped from 40 yards out. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, I'm going with a back four. I'm going with Monreal at left back. Purely based on the fact that he's not as good as Kalasanak. And Kalasanak is going to be my first team starter for all the season. So, Monreal at left back. Yeah, Debucci is back in my squad. He's back in my eleven. And he's at my right-back position. Um, again, Bellerin's better than him, um, just. But yeah, Bellerin's better, so there's no point risking a first-team player in this competition. Not for now, anyway, in the, in the um, early rounds. So I'm going with Matthew Debucci. My centre-back pairing, Callum Chambers. Yes, believe it or not, Callum Chambers is alive and well. Um, Arsenal tweeted about him the other day. He played an under-23s game and come through um, relatively unscathed. So it'd be nice to see Callum Chambers back. Although I'm not his biggest fan, it'd be nice to see him get a start in, start in this game. Um, another one I'd like to see start and that I'm putting next to Callum Chambers is Rob Holding. I thought he was absolutely woeful the other night, hence why he got substituted at half-time. Um, the poor lad's confidence is as low as it's probably ever been in his professional career. But... You're at a big boy club now, mate, so you've got to deal with these things. And unfortunately, when you are playing shit, you are going to get subbed. So there we go. We all know what we're going to get with Rob Holding um, in terms of he's going to be later down the road in years to come if he keeps his head down and keeps trying and keeps working on trying to improve. We know he's going to be a good centre-back, so I don't want to sit here and mug him off. Um, he was fantastic towards the end of last season. This season, he's not reached them heights. Hopefully, this will be the game that gets his confidence back up to the levels of the back end of last season. Um, into my midfield, I'm going with Maitland Niles. I thought he'd done really, really well when he was put in his proper position, which is central midfield. He looks well out of his depth in the first half against um, Cologne. And as soon as he was moved into central midfield, I thought he was fantastic. And he should have scored. Um, divvied on the ball a little bit when he got clean through and the keeper smothered him. But all in all, the second half, he played really well in that game and I was really impressed with him. Um, next to him, I'm going to put another youngster, Joe Willock. Heard a lot of good things about this kid and social media is full of youngsters that watch under 23 football. I must admit, I'm not one of them, but I have seen a lot of clips of this guy and I've heard and read a lot of good things about him. So yeah, Joe Willock is partnering... Maitland Niles. On to left wing. Mr. I'm on 140 bags a week for doing jack shit. Yep, you're in my League Cup team, bruv. Mr. Theo Walcott. Absolutely dog shit against Cologne the other day. Um, yeah, 
you deserve to be in this team because you ain't good enough for the other team. On the right wing, a lad who fully deserves a starting spot in the first 11, in my opinion. Um, he's been absolutely outstanding every time I've seen him. He came on against Cologne the other night and some of the movements, some of the skills and the little shimmies and the flicks, he was, he was really, really impressive. And I, I'm expecting this kid to fully go all the way to the top in the game. And that's Reese Nelson. And I know so many of our fans are excited when he come on the other night. And I know they're excited to see him in the future. So, yeah, Reese Nelson, you get the nod, boy. And I know you're going to shine because you're destined for greatness at this football club. Um, number 10 position. No, I'm not putting Ozil in. <laughs> no, he's not getting in my starting 11 for this game. Um, I'm going with Jack Wilshere, another one that came on against Cologne the other night. And I thought done really well couple of passes through to Sanchez, um, done a lovely little step over which eventually led to the Bellerin goal. So yeah, as much as I slag Jack Wilshire off, that's for non-footballing reasons. Um, that's for the shit he does off the pitch. In terms of what he does on the pitch, we know when he's fit, he's absolutely class. So yeah, Jack Wilshire, number 10. And my striker for this game is another youngster. Um, Lacazette spoke highly of this guy along with Reese Nelson saying that out of all the kids he's seen in the youth setup, these two are destined for greatness and that was Reese Nelson and I'm going to butcher this kid's name, <laughs> Entekia. Um, yeah, I have seen a lot of this boy with the clips that go around on uh, Twitter, etc, etc. And not only you can't make up your mind just based on YouTube clips and stuff like that, but from what I've seen, he's ripping up the under-23s along with Reese Nelson. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see him. And that's, the, that's my starting eleven for the game. I'm going with a nice, comfortable victory for Arsenal on Wednesday. I can't see anything other than an Arsenal win. So I'm going Arsenal 5, Doncaster Rovers 0. If you're new to the channel... Smash the subscribe button. I'm close to 6,000 subscribers now. I appreciate all the love from all the people along the way to this point. Absolutely donkey punch the shit out of the like button. That always helps me along my way. And leave your comments down there. And I'll try my hardest to reply to as many as I can. Anyway, laters peeps. Mm -hmm.